poor execution probably cost you tonight? Um, absolutely. Obviously, the scoreline reflects that. Um, I agree. I think we had some really, really good moments and some looked really good in patches, um, but it was only in patches and we need to be more consistent. Are you confident that Threggs is enough to turn that around for the second game? Oh, absolutely. Um, I honestly don't think we could play as bad as we did tonight. Um, we've got the talent there. At, I think just the execution and too many drop, too many drop balls, and obviously too many penalties. Pretty scary scenes just before half time with Izzy going down. Yep. Have you got an update on her? Yeah, she's in hospital. She's not great. Um, there is concerns around her throat. Um, obviously thoughts with her, but did you have an issue with the tackle? I think it was placed on report, but play was allowed to go on while she was down. Yeah, it's a distress. big concern for me when we've we've got a player on the ground in actually discomfort and um, not in a great way, and she was struggling to breathe. So it's a very big concern, and I am very worried and concerned about her now. So, and I. You know, still don't understand why there wasn't even a, a penalty for that. It was just hitting the throat. Oh, they were, especially because uh, there was a lot going on in the sheds. Uh, ambulance came in for Izzy. Um, wasn't great. She was in a lot of discomfort, so there was a fair bit of noise coming as well. So, yeah, we had to rally the girls and just let them know that we had a half to, to get out there and get on with. Obviously, losing Tiana as well, like just the whole reshuffle just yep. seemed um, look, no, I, I was pretty comfy with the way I thought actually that uh, Fui and, and Jess worked really well on that edge. We knew they were going to attack that edge, so I thought they actually defended quite well. But then obviously with Easy going down and having to replace Anella outside back, um, with Yasmin going in there, she hasn't played much in that role. So, But that's footy, it happens, and we need to readjust and get on with it. A lot's been made about this police thing, but now you actually know what you need to win by up there. Like, is that Positive to take out of well, it is. I mean, we, we have two games, so that is a bonus. And obviously, with the points, we know now that we need to meet, you know, win by nine, basically. So, um, but we'll, yeah, reset, relook at everything and get ready to go to Townsville. How does that change your approach? That, uh, in fact, you have to win by nine. Yeah, it does. It uh, probably puts a lot more pressure. Um, as you had seen at that last probably 10 minutes we were chasing points and that's obviously when we made more mistakes so that's going to be in the girls heads so it's going to be a lot to control I think um, so yeah we've got a big task ahead of us what will you say to them like, so they don't... we just need to win the game yeah. initially not to worry about chasing points because if we do we're going to end up like we did tonight what about last tackle plays as well I think kick meters at one point was only about 60 or low, like yeah after 60 minutes we got two great kickers so we should be better in that area for sure and as I said we'll sit back now uh, with coaching staff and look at that game and I know that we can be better in a lot of areas and I know we can definitely be better as a team across the park Jesse on debut goal, felt like she yeah she had game. some really good moments um, and she's young so um, yeah we'll, we'll look at that footage and sit down with them and break the game down with her um, Chapo out there. She had a pretty good game. What do you think of her? Yeah, she's played for the Gillaroos, so she might have played for New South Wales for the first time, but she's a Gillaroo, so she was she was ready for tonight. Yeah. And that chase down from her as well. Absolutely, that's epic. that's what you expect from a very fast winger like Chapo. So that was great. Kylie, do you think not playing for like five six weeks for some of these girls across both sides really? I think that was thirty errors in total. Like I think the women's game is better than that. Yeah, well, I think last year's Canberra game was a reflection of how good because we come off the back of an NRLW. Um, and you're right, we've had girls that have played two games of footy since the World Cup. So it's and it's been really tough this week trying to make sure that we've got, you know, the right balance of what we're doing in training to get some mileage in their legs and get them ready for that fatigue. But it's definitely been an issue, um, and I, I think that showed tonight. Yeah, it's great. I don't know how many of us here, but good to see a big crowd. About 13,000, so... Yep, wonderful. Um, any changes? I know Izzy, obviously, but just Tiana a chance? Uh, look, yeah, Tiana is a chance. That's why we didn't push her tonight. If we had to push her tonight, we should probably be out for six to eight weeks. It was just one of those hamstring injuries there. We gave it... Um, right to the last minute, but it just wasn't right, so it wasn't worth the risk for her. So she she'll be right for game two. Samima should be right for game two as well. Um, obviously, we need to see what's going on with Izzy. Um, but look, it, it shouldn't matter with um, with our girls. They need to be able to step up and, and step into the position and play their role. Um, you said before, like obviously, 
obviously there's been no NRLW leading into this and then only a couple of games beforehand. When do you think is the right time or what is the right structure to be able to play this in? It's a really good question and a question <laughs> that's way above my head, but I just feel if we're going to play Origin and we want the best product, we need to be making sure that these girls come out of a really quality competition. Because um, as I said, it's been really hard as the coach preparing these girls for such a physical game. Uh, and, you know, even with Tiana, she hadn't played football for such a long time and it was actually a factor of why she was. Uh, she hurt a hamstring. So I think we really need to look at where Origin needs to be placed to make sure that we are coming off the back of a good quality comp. In addition to not calling a penalty for the um, Isabel Kelly throw, were you also surprised on the Jess Surges breakaway that there was no call for taking her out there? Yeah, this look, I could sit here and I, I've got to rewatch the game, but there were a couple of occasions that I sort of shook my head and, and was didn't understand what was happening. Um, I even think our halfback was taken out at one stage as well. So, but it's you know the. It is what it is. The game's over now. We'll sit back and look at that. Um, it's no use me sitting here complaining about that because it's not going to change anything. Oh, we've got a couple niggle. Yeah, uh, Kennedy Charrington's got quite a cut on a knee, and um, yeah, I think that's it.